now recognizes the gentle lady from New York, Ms. Velasquez, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Today, the committee is holding a disingenuous hearing under the guise of protecting National Park Service land. This is ironic, considering that the Republican Party is currently fighting to cut the MPS budget by approximately half a billion dollars in the Interior Appropriations Bill and is pushing our country toward a disastrous government shutdown that will furlough many MPS employees and disrupt the maintenance of parks across the country. This politically charged stunt to distract from the fact that Republicans have no solution to avoiding a shutdown, just that they have no real solutions to the situation in New York City. Please, don't come here and kid ourselves. This is not about national parks. This is about their inability to govern. Politicians from states like New York, like Texas and Florida have fueled this emergency and manufactured a crisis that local, state, and federal officials will be forced to solve. Instead of bickering about, about what the demand of the day is, to fund the government and avoid a shutdown, we need Republicans in Congress to come to the table and work with us to fix this through real substantive immigration reform. And to not do so is basically looking for a political, a, a talking point to attack cities like New York. Not simply yelling and screaming over a lack of border security. As one of the two New Yorkers on this committee, I am deeply disturbed by this hearing because I know firsthand that the situation in New York City is a humanitarian crisis and not a partisan issue. New York City, let me just make sure that people fleeing violence and persecution, regardless of nationality or other demographics, can access functioning asylum and refugee re resettlement system in this country. New York City is doing all it can to accomplish this, but they cannot do it alone. Asylum seekers deserve to be treated with respect and dignity, not treated as political pawns to tout anti-immigration rhetoric, which is deeply rooted in racism and xenophobia. At every step, Republicans have made this crisis worse. It is time for us to put politics aside and address this issue head on. Ms. Acer, in a podcast conversation with reporter Errol Lewis, a New York City Republican candidate for major, suggested housing migrants at Rikers Island, the city's central jail. Can you explain the dangers of ostracizing asylum seekers in a facility normally used to contain individuals who have broken the law? Thank you very much, Congress Member, for that, for that question. Um, over, over many, many years of doing this work, um, both as an individual lawyer representing asylum seekers and since then, um, I've visited many of the immigration jails in this country where we send people seeking asylum. I've been to the detention centers where families are held and heard about how difficult it was to, for them to be held in these facilities. I've spoken to people who came to this country because they believed in freedom, because they believed in what this country stood for, and, and they were shocked again and again to find themselves handcuffed and shackled when they asked for protection, sent to immigration jails, and left in prison uniforms, often you know, for long periods of time, denied release, even if they have family members or friends in this country sometimes. Sending people seeking refuge to immigration jails or Rikers Island is definitely not an answer. Right? I outlined in my paper many solutions that, that really are effective. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields back. The chair now recognizes.